dear student i am dr harold thomas professor in applied geology dr hari singh gorbishwadara sagar today in this course i will deliver my lecture on rock cycle hope it will be useful for you try to be regular in course earth crust is made up of rocks rock is defined as aggregate of common minerals rocks have been an integral part of the history of mankind first being used as tool for hunting and defense and as building material to construct shelters and monuments rocks can be hard or soft as a small as a grains or a large as a hillocks combined with the effect of tectonics weatherings and vegetation rocks define the natural landscape we see around us the minerals and metals are found in rocks are essential to the prosperity and the cultural splendors of the human civilization there are many kinds of rocks and they can be classified in a manner of ways however geologists classified rocks based on how the rocks were formed the three classes are igneous rocks formed directly from the liquid rocks metamorphic rocks formed by direct alteration of existing rocks and sedimentary rocks formed by eroded materials from other rocks the crust of the earth however is said to have been formed first due to the solidification of the upper most layer of the molten planet it may be stated therefore that the first form crust of the earth was obviously the product of consolidation of the molten silicates for example magma and these may accordingly be described as the igneous rock such rock are also known as primary rocks since these were the first form rocks on the surface of the earth the word igneous in latin words meaning fire and the rock are called igneous rock rock form from materials derived from pre-existing rocks by processes of denudation together with material of organic origin are sedimentary rocks natural agencies like blowing winds running water percolating underground water glaciers in motion etc the products of such decay are subjected under favorable condition to the sedimentation and subsequently compaction the resulting rock masses thus form under ordinary pressure and temperature condition are known as sedimentary rock or secondary rocks some of the most common rocks of this type are sandstone limestone laterite coal etc the sedimentary rocks are of wide spread occurrences upon the surface of the globe the word metamorphism comes from the greek meta equal to change morph equal to form so metamorphism means to change form metamorphic rocks are formed by the transformation of pre-existing rock under the influence of high temperature and pressure and chemically active fluids at a granular level rocks are composed of grains of minerals which in turn are homogeneous solids formed from a chemical compound that is arranged in a ordinary manner the aggregate minerals forming the rock are held together by chemical bonds the types and abundance of the mineral 
in a rock are determined by the manner in which the rock was formed. Many rocks contain silica SiO2, a compound of silica and oxygen that form 74.3% of the earth crust. This material form crystal with other compounds in the rock. The proportion of silica in a rock and minerals in a major factor in determining their name and properties. Rocks are geologically classified according to characteristics such as minerals and chemical composition, permeability, the texture of the constituents, particles and particle size. These physical properties are the end result of the processes that form the rocks. Over the course of time, rocks can transform from one type to another as described by the geological model called the rock cycle. These events produce three general classes of rocks, igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. The three classes of rock are subdivided into many groups. However, there are so hard and fast boundaries between allied rocks by in increase or decrease in the proportion of their constituents mineral. They pass by every gradation into one another. The distinct structures also of one kind of rock may often be traced gradually merging into those of another. Hence, the definition adopted in establishing rock nomenclature merely correspond to more or less arbitrary selected points in a continuously graduated series. Igneous rocks derived from the Latin words igneous means of fire, form ignis meaning fire, form through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. This magma can be derived from partial melts of pre-existing rock in either a planet's mantle or crust. Typically, the melting of rocks is caused by one or more of three processes, an increase in temperature, a decrease in pressure, or a change in composition. Igneous rocks divided into two main categories, plutonic rocks and volcanic. Plutonic or intrusive rocks result when magma cools and crystallizes slowly within the earth crust. A common example of this type of rock is granite. Volcanic or extrusive rocks result from magma reaching the surface either as lava or fragmental ejector, forming minerals such as pumice or basalt. The chemical boundaries and the rate of cooling of magma typically form a sequence known as Bowman reaction series after the Canadian petrologist Norman L. Bowman. Most major igneous rocks are found along this scale. About 64.7% of the earth crust by volume consists of igneous rocks, making it the most plentiful category of these. 66% are basalt and gabbros, 16% are granite and 17% granodiorite and diorite. Only 0.6% are cyanide and 0.3% pedotites and dunite. The oceanic crust is 99% basalt, which is an igneous rock of mafic composition. Granites and similar rocks known as metagranitoids form much of the continental crust. Over 700 types of igneous rocks have been described, most of them having formed beneath the earth surface of earth crust. Rocks form on the surface 
from lava are called volcanic rocks. Those which are formed by crystallization of magma below the earth's surface are at greater depth are called plutonic rocks, while those at intermediate depth are called as hippabasal rocks. Igneous rocks are classified based on texture, field relation, chemical composition, and textural mineralogy. A based on texture, igneous rocks are classified into phaneritic rocks with mineral grains that is large enough to be identified by eyes. Slowly cooled intrusive rocks. Aphanitic rocks with grain too small to be identified by eyes. Rapidly solidified extruded magma and marginal faces of shallow intrusion. Porphyritic bimodal grain size distribution glassy no crystal form. Based on field relation the igneous rocks are classified as extrusive form of igneous rock, intrusive form of igneous rock. Extrusive form of igneous rocks, lava flow constitute the extrusive form of igneous rocks and come upon the surface and spread themselves in the form of seed. They therefore follow approximately the trend of the surface topography and are commonly more or less of horizontal attitude unless of course they are subjected to subsequent geological disturbance. A volcano is a vent or fissure in the earth crust through which molten lava, hot gases, volatiles and solid rock debris pyroclasts escapes to the surface or land or under the sea. Volcanoes are classified as fissure type and central types. In the fissure type of volcano, the lava flow out through linear cracks or fissure which extend deep into the earth crust. The lava is usually mobile and spread out over the vast area in the form of lava seat flow. Central type of eruption occur through a vent is pipe like opening and shape landforms of the volcano are controlled by the viscosity and amount of lava which erupt from time to time. Intrusive form of igneous rocks magma during its ascent form, the upper mantle may occupy spaces and opening of various shape and size at different depth in the subsurface resulting in intrusive form of igneous rock. Form of intrusive igneous rocks are termed as concordant when the rocks penetrate along and remain parallel to the surface of the rock that is intruded. The term discordant is used to describe igneous rocks that cut across the structures like bedding planes of the surrounding rocks. Discordant intrusive igneous rocks occur as dikes, volcanic necks, batholiths, stock and bosses where the concordant intrusive igneous rocks occur as sill, batholith, stock, bosses, lapolith, lacolith, and facolith. Dikes are discordant tabular shaped igneous intrusion when exposed they exhibit thicknesses varying from a few inches or centimeter to even a hundred meters or more thickens rarely exceeds 50 meters. Sills are similar to dikes except that they are concordant and often have a horizontal or near horizontal disposition. Otherwise in dimension they are similar to dikes and often occur 
in combination with dikes. Lacoliths are concordant igneous bodies with their low surface flat and upper surface arched in the form of dome. Such bodies are naturally formed due to accumulation of very viscous magma underneath the rocks occurring upon the surface. Lapoliths are concordant igneous bodies with their shape more or less similar to that of the saucer that is the central portion of the mass is thicker while the thin out towards the periphery and the area produced due to the collapse of the rock beds in the region and subsequently uprise of the magma through the collapsing layers. Facoliths are in a similar manner concordant igneous bodies more or less crescentic in shape occurring along the crest and throes of the fold of the country rocks. These produce due to the accumulation of the igneous material along the crest and turf of the fold since these are the zone of minimum stress in the folded region. While the limbs are either sides are necessarily subjected to a greater amount of stress. Volcanic necks are igneous masses that fill up with the vent of ancient volcanoes. They may completely occupy the cylindrical channel or may be intrusive around. Batholith stock and bosses. Batholiths are discordant rock bodies of extremely large size, so much so that their exposure upon the surface are expressed in term of tens or even hundred of miles. They are of extremely irregular outline and appear to widen gradually with increasing depth. Batholiths of comparatively smaller dimension are described as a stock and a stock of circular outline are known as bosses. Based on chemical composition, that is based on the percentage of silica, SiO2 percent, the igneous rocks are classified as when more than 66 percent SiO2 rocks are felsic, for example, granite, rhyolite. 52 to 66 percent SiO2 rocks are intermediate, for example, diorite, andesite. 45 to 52 SiO2 percent rock are mafic, for example, gabbro basalt. Less than 45 percent SiO2 rocks are ultramafic, for example, pedotite, dunite, cometite. Based on silica versus alkali elements, SiO2 versus NO2O plus K2O. Igneous rocks are classified as calcic, alkalic, alkalic, calcic, and alkalic. Based on alumina saturation, Al2O3 versus Na2O plus K2O plus CO, igneous rocks are classified as paraluminous and metaluminous. <music> Sedimentary rocks are formed by sedimentation of particles at or near the earth's surface and within the bodies of water. This process causes clastic sediment or organic particles, detritals to settle and accumulate or for minerals to chemically precipitate, evaporites form a solution. The particulate matter then undergoes compaction and cementation during diagenesis. Before being deposited, sediments were formed by weathering and erosion in a source area and then transported to the place of deposition by water, wind, ice, mass movement or glaciers which are called agent of denudation. Mud rocks comprises 65 percent mudstone, cell and siltstone. Sandstone 
20 to 25 percent and carbonate rocks 10 to 15 percent limestone and dolostone about 7.5 percent of the crust of volume in the composed of sedimentary rocks with 82 percent of those being cell while the uh, reminders constrain limestone 6 percent sandstone and arcos 12 percent type of sedimentary rock depending upon their mode and mechanism of accumulation and consolidation sedimentary rocks are classified into two main groups they are clastic rocks formed from fragment of other rocks and chemical rocks and biochemical rocks clastic sedimentary rocks clastic rock constitutes particles of pre-existing rocks and minerals these particles may have originally been from igneous rocks metamorphic rocks or even other sedimentary rocks clastic rocks are deposited under the influence of some type of current flowing water waves winds or moving ice therefore particle size is a reflection of amount of energy that transported the sediments to the place of deposition and tell us something about how the rock was formed there are three major categories of particle size namely gravel all particle size large than 2 millimeter in diameter sand particles similar than 2 millimeter but large than 0.0625 to millimeter and mud particles similar rather than 0.0625 millimeter chemical sedimentary rocks chemical sedimentary rocks are deposited from aqueous solution and precipitated may be caused by chemical or biochemical process the formation of chemical rock is not depend on the current or energy and particle size is not as important in classification in a clastic rocks in instead these rocks are classified on the chemistry of the dominant minerals the three common groups of chemical rocks are carbonate evaporites and chert biochemical sedimentary rocks biological process also can give rise to sedimentary which can result in formation of sedimentary rocks this typically occur in the ocean where a variety of atoms float along the water molecules ions such as calcium magnesium and potassium along with trace elements like silicon fluorine iron and phosphorus are used by marine organism to form their hard and soft tissues once the marine plant or animal dies it may settle to the ocean floor as biochemical sediments then becomes compacted and cemented together into the solid rock typically only the hard skeleton part of the organisms are preserved as sediment sedimentary structure sedimentary rocks commonly show layering and other structures that form as sediments is transported the most important sedimentary structures are stratification cross bedding graded bedding ripple marks and mud cracks primary sedimentary structures provide key information about the condition under which the sediment accumulated metamorphic rocks are formed by subjecting any rocks type sedimentary rocks igneous rocks or another older metamorphic rocks to different temperature and pressure condition than those in which the original rocks was formed this process is called metamorphism meaning to change in form the result is a profound change in physical properties and chemistry of the stone the original rock known as the protolith 
transform into another minerals type or else into the other form of the same minerals such as by recrystallization. The temperature and pressure required for the process are always higher than those found at the earth surface. Temperature greater than 150 to 200 degree centigrade and pressure of 1500 bars metamorphic rocks composes 27.4 percent of the crust by volume. The three major classes of the metamorphic rocks are based upon the formation mechanism and intrusive of magma that heats the surrounding rocks causes contact metamorphism, a temperature dominant deformation. Pressure metamorphism occur when sediments are found under deep the ground, pressure is dominant and temperature play a similar role. This is termed as burial metamorphism. Metamorphism is mainly due to the operation of three agent, the chemical activities of the liquid and gases within the rock, the temperature, the pressure. Type of metamorphism. Metamorphism is broadly classified into first contact or thermal metamorphism, second regional contact or thermal metamorphism, contact metamorphism or thermal metamorphism. Metamorphism occur adjacent to igneous intrusion and result from high temperature associated with the igneous intrusion. The rocks produced is often a fine grained rocks that show no foliation called a hornfels. Regional metamorphism. Regional metamorphism occurs over large area and generally does not show any relationship to the igneous bodies. Most regional metamorphism is accompanied by deformation under non-hydrostatic or differential stress condition. Thus, regional metamorphism usually result in forming metamorphic rocks that are strongly foliated such as slate, cyst and gneisses. Texture of metamorphic rocks. The fabric of metamorphic rocks is a result of mechanical deformation and mineralogical recrystallization of the pre-existing rock. Texture is a term that describes the size, shape and orientation of the grain constituting a rock as well as the relationship between these grains. Metamorphic texture can be grouped into three main group. A relic texture or texture inherent from the original rock types and which have survived metamorphism. Typomorphic texture, texture characteristic of metamorphism, superimposed texture, texture characteristic of a post metamorphic event, for example, alteration, weathering, etc. Rock cycle. Igneous rocks are the product of natural cycle of events. Mineral composition of the igneous rocks help us to identify the rock and texture of the rocks throws light on the generation on the genesis of the rock. The study of the igneous rocks guides us to search for the mineral deposit associated with them and to understand the process of the mental and crust processes. The natural agencies of erosion, transportation, deposition and consolidation brought about development of sedimentary or sedimentary rocks. The study of sedimentary rocks are important to understand the paleo and present sedimentary environment processes. Metamorphic rocks constitute a very important part of the study of the different type of rocks. The study of metamorphic rocks in all its variety enables one to trace the evolution of the earth crust might form its 
primitive stage up to the present. The chemistry of the metamorphosed sedimentary rocks reveals their percentage. The mineral assemblages of the metamorphic rock present a fossilized record of the PT regime that prevailed in different part of the crust at different times in the past. The rock cycle is a model that describes the formation, breakdown and reformation of a rock that the same can be re realized over a longer period of time in the geological time scale. Rock classified and rock cycle consist of the four modules. It begin with the introduction of the different type of rocks in module classification of rocks, type and classification of igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks followed by rock cycles are discussed. Conclusions are drawn highlighting the importance of a study of rocks. Thank you very much.